What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at player form, the live update and player arrows in game. So I did a video on this a while back with eFootball 2022 but just a little bit of more updated information for eFootball 2023 we are going to get into the, the, the nitty gritty details of it. So we, we are actually going to be taking a look here at Cristiano Ronaldo who is a 90 rated player. We're going to be taking a look at this Manchester United squad and Ronaldo in detail but you will see here that there is a mixture of form arrows with this squad. So this is just a trial match. I'm showing you guys exactly how the form arrows actually work. So this is a trial match. So the ratings here of Cristiano Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo being a 90 overall is his actual offline. When they do add the offline modes or the exhibition modes or online divisions, his rating is going to be 90 overall. Now his form arrow, as you've seen here, is the worst form arrow that you can get. So offline and in exhibition matches, there is no live update. The player form is controlled by his actual standard form um, or his actual motivation, like his morale, basically. There's three levels to the morale. And you can see here, we'll get into that in a second, but you can see here that Cristiano Ronaldo on the full form arrow down, it is a red. Ericsson is the second worst arrow, as you can see there, his condition. And you can see that the effect it has on their individual stats. Now, I'm going through this a little bit quicker than normal. We will be going into it in more detail in literally like a minute. But I just want to give you a quick overview of the player forms and how they actually work. Because a lot of people get confused with them. Um, especially when they're playing like the offline modes. Um, or, well, there's no offline modes. But the offline matches against the AI. And then obviously with their dream team and then the actual matches where they're playing with the real national teams or anything like that, like the France national team or the Liga MX, where the form is handled in a slightly different way um, than it is with the dream team. So we'll get into that in a second. But I'm just going through this Manchester United squad. We've got every form arrow available in the game, starting with the worst with Ronaldo, which is a red, all the way up to Ericsson and Sancho, who is the second best form arrow. You can see that if they've got a good form arrow, they're going to get plus and an addition to their attributes and stats, right? So you can see here that Sancho has a plus two dribbling, plus four offensive awareness, um, plus one acceleration, plus one speed. And then the best form arrow in it, the best condition that you have here is the, is the arrow being fully up, which gives uh, Dallo a plus six dribbling, uh, plus um, three speed, plus three acceleration, plus three jumping, plus eight uh, defensive awareness. So it is a huge, huge, huge increase to the player's stats. You can have a player that goes from like a 75 speed up to like an, nearly an 80 speed, depending on the player, depending on what gets a boost. As you see here with Cristiano Ronaldo again, we've got on the left side, his condition is fully down, the worst form arrow that you can get. And on the right side, we've got his best form arrow. And when you compare the both of those, you are looking at offensive awareness with Ronaldo on the left, which is the worst form arrow, is 81. Compared to with his best form arrow, when his best form and his best condition is 89. His finishing is 86 compared to 75. His jumping is 90 compared to 77. So there's a massive swing in the difference in the attributes. And as you see here, we've got from left to right, Ronaldo on his worst form, his normal form, and his best form. The normal form in the middle is just straight down the middle. That's his, no changes to his attributes or his stats. His worst form is going to be a minus uh, to his stats and attributes. And then the best form arrow, as we see here, is going to be a plus on his attributes. So feel free there to pause that video and go in and look at it in full screen if you want to see. But basically what I'm looking at here is his different condition and his different player form, right? So there's two different ways of looking at it. The player form, right, is described here. There's three levels to it. There's inconsistent, there is standard, and there is unwavering. As you see here, Cristiano Ronaldo has got standard form. Most of the players in the game have got standard form. As you see here with Bruno, as you see here with Alanga, and then you see here with Sancho. They're all standard form. When we go to Christian Eriksen, he also has standard form. McTominay also has standard form. Varane also has standard form. And Martinez has unwavering form. So what this unwavering form means is similar to the old Pez games. If you are a veteran of the series, when their conditioning would be at the higher end of the level, such as 6, 7 or 8. Or else, if you are a newcomer, it's kind of like their morale. How often their player form is going to be up. 
when we look here at the player form again, you will see that they have a different way of um, naming it. So they call it rating with the dream team mode. We're over at the dream team mode here, right? Where Ronaldo has a base rating of 86 overall. He's got standard form and the rating there, which is a C, is his live update rating for the week. That changes weekly. So as you see here with Cafu, who is a legend, Cafu has unwavering form, but he also has a rating B. This rating B is his live update. The legend players and the epic players always, always, always have B rating. You will see here Ronaldinho, Sadarf, and Cafu have a B rating. That is set in stone. It never changes. The other players, as you're seeing here, Quadrado on an A, Immobile on an A, Mike Magnan on a B, and Hernandez on a B, that changes week by week, and it's based on real-life results in real-life football leagues. Again, player of the weeks. We've got Lewandowski, we've got Paul Rodrigo. If a player is a featured version and they're having a good week, or they've played well and they've scored lots of goals and they are a featured player, they are going to be on A form. So the A form changes literally week to week, right? Literally week to week. The actual unwavering standard or inconsistent player form, right? Not the player live update. That does not change. So Cafu is always going to have unwavering form. Ronaldo is always going to have standard form. Now, what this means in Dream Team, right, is if you take a look at my squad here, which is littered with player of the weeks, it's littered with players that are on B form and A form, right? So we're starting with Carlos, Busquets, Alaba, Rudiger, Maldini, Makalele, Ronaldinho, De Jong, Neymar, Messi, and Donna and Golds, right? You will see here that Rudiger, with his live update, as it is announced here, they kind of change and interlink the names, right? You will see that Rudiger, as his form, has got unwavering form, right? But he is also on A rating, his A condition for his A, which is live update, as you saw there. So his form is unwavering, that doesn't change. That's his player card. But his actual rating for the week with the live update is on an A. Now, if you take a look at the likes of Nabry, he's got standard form, but he's on D live rating, his D live update. So when we pop him in here, we take a look and it says there again, his live update is a D. That's his weekly live update that changes every week. But his form is standard, right? So he is going to be more often than not going to be lower rating on a player form when you actually go into a match. Here we also have one of our goalkeepers, Marchesin, who's on an E player data or live update rating. Comparing him to Van Dijk, who has unwavering form, right? They both have unwavering form, but the player update... And the live update of Van Dijk being on a C is obviously going to be better than Marchessin on a E, right? So there's more a chance of them both being up. Now, when we actually go into a match here, and I'm going to split the screen here in a second because there is a lot of information, especially if you are a newcomer. You will see that Rudiger, when we, we are now in a match, right? So we are starting a match here. And you can see that the player live update has changed. It's no longer called live update. It's called condition. So this means that this is the condition that the player is in going into this match. This is kind of like he's fully up. So you will see that Maldini is going to get a boost because he's in full condition. His condition is maxed out. As I said, this is random. It's a combination of the player's form, which is either inconsistent, standard, or, or unwavering, and a combination mixed in with the live data update. So you will see here that Marcia Seen, even though he is on E, live update, his unwavering form balances out his actual in-match condition. Does that make sense? So Nabry is the same. Even though he's on D form, we get lucky that his standard form cuts in and actually brings him up to a standard form arrow. So his actual condition is standard. Whereas with Carlos, Carlos is a B and he's also got that up arrow that he's going to get. So sometimes it's up. So if we take a look on the left, we have the live update weekly rating that the players are at. So Carlos is at a B, but he's on full form arrow in game. Rudiger is on an A, but he's on normal form arrow. So as I said, it is slightly random in terms of some players will always be up. Some players will never be up. Some players will be just balanced and consistent. You see there, Van Dijk is a perfect example. That's an equal conversion. So he's on C rating. He has a normal form arrow, just no changes to anything. But then you take a look at Nabry, right? Nabry is on a D rating and he gets a normal form arrow, the same. And then you take a look at Roberto Carlos. He's on a B, 
but he gets a full form arrow, whereas Rudiger is on an A, and he gets a normal form arrow. So you have to kind of fill your team, if you are not wanting this to be an issue, and you want to get the most, and get the player boosts, and get the attribute boosts to your players, and make a big difference to your actual stats, you need to litter your team with players that are either on B or A form weekly. You need to change it weekly. So for Van Dijk here, I potentially probably shouldn't have Van Dijk in my starting 11 because his player form and his player condition in game is probably not going to get into the, the top condition like Maldini there. Maldini and Roberto Carlos both have B form. They both have unwavering for their player form and they're going to obviously get more often than not. They're going to get those max form arrows, which makes a big difference to your conditioning. So there is a lot of information on this, lads. There's a lot of stuff going around, but this screen basically sums it up, right? This is the live update weekly rating of the players on the left, and this is the in-game form arrow and their conditions. And at the start of the video, and, the show, and I showed you with the Cristiano Ronaldo screen, which we have here, this is the differences between a player that is on low form compared to high form. So let me know if you want a more in-depth, like, you know, longer video. I think we could have to go in and like look at a lot of examples and stuff. But that is the gist of it. And I hope it makes sense to you guys. There's a lot of repeated information. But I did try to keep this video as short as possible without, you know, making it too complicated. Um, but getting every single bit in p bit that you could want of knowledge in there. So let me know if it helped you out. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back soon. If you want more videos like this, lads, let me know. If it is helpful, give me a thumbs up in the comments below. And I'll talk to you later. Peace.